enabling two-factor authentication, or 2FA, on your Mirror Trading International account. You may have noticed when you log into your MTI back office that just below the password it says Enter 2FA code if enabled. Should you wish to install this extra security feature, please follow the steps in this video to enable this two-factor authentication as additional security for your account. Log into your back office. In the menu on the left, under the Profile section, you will find 2FA. Click on this. Or alternatively, you can also go to the roll down on the top right hand side under your Welcome Your Name. Before you go any further, you will need to download the Google Authenticator app from either the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Search for Google Authenticator. You will recognize it by the grey circular symbol and then install the app on your mobile device. Once you have installed the app, in your back office, click on the 2FA and then click on Generate 2FA QR Code. Before you do anything else, please write down the 16-digit key and make sure you save it in a secure place, somewhere where you can find it should you no longer be able to access your phone. In other words, do not store this security key on your mobile device. Now you can go to your mobile device and open the Google Authenticator app. When the app opens, you will notice two icons. There's a pen on the far right, and you can use this option to enter the 16-digit key should your mobile device not have a camera. If, however, your mobile device does have a camera, simply click the plus symbol so you can use your camera to scan the barcode. The app will open your camera and a green indicator square. Align these over the barcode, and the app will scan the code. The app will automatically open a new code generator. It will identify as MTI with your user ID. Looking over to the right-hand side of the code generator, you will see the time-based countdown indicator, which resets the six-digit code every 30 seconds. Wait for the 30 seconds to complete and get a new six-digit code, and then enter this into the 2FA code disabled block, and then click Enable 2FA. If this does not work, you will probably find that you took too long to enter the code. Go back to your app, wait for a new six-digit code to be generated, and try again. When you have enabled the 2FA, a new screen will appear. You can use this screen to disable the 2FA should you wish to in future. The next time you log in, you will need to enter your 2FA code, the one you get from your Google Authenticator app. For more information, please contact your team leader.